Welcome to MySecret Math Tutor. We're going to work on how you can expand the logarithm using all of the different laws that logarithms have. Okay, so we have this example problem here, log of x cubed times y all divided by w squared times z. And we want to expand this out into the sum and difference of other logs. Okay, so as we start to use these rules, we want to recognize what features are inside the log. Now one of the largest features I see right now is this divide sign right here. So when you have division inside of a logarithm, you can split this up into two other logs, such that these logs are being subtracted. I really take note as to what I'm putting inside. So this first log contains everything that was in the top of my fraction. The second log contains everything that was in the bottom. All right, things are looking pretty good. Now as we look at these logs, the largest feature that I notice inside both of them is basically multiplication. So I have x cubed multiplied by y and w squared multiplied by z. So when this splits up into logarithms, it says, okay, you can split it up into two logs such that they are being added. All right, so that will split up these two. And let's see, I need to split up these two. So w squared plus log of z. And we want to be very careful with our signs. I still want to subtract off this entire thing. And so all of this is still being subtracted. All right? It means I'll probably have to distribute that negative sign in just a bit. Now there's one last rule that we can apply to all of these. And it has to do with those powers inside some of the logs. So notice how we have an x cubed and a w squared. When there is an exponent on the inside of that log, we can pull it out as a constant. So instead of log x cubed, it changes it into 3 times log of x. Let's go ahead and do that for the other one. So log of w squared changes into 2 log of w. All right. So we've taken care of the division, the multiplication, and the powers. So we've expanded the log as far as it will go. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.